Hey everybody, it's Chuck Esposito here with Jason McCormick at Red Rocks Race and Sportsbook. It's uh, that time of week again for our uh, weekly segment of bookends, and it's been crazy. Not only do you have, Jay, the Women's World Cup, we're down to the semifinals. Uh, you've got Wimbledon that's starting. Baseball getting close to the All-Star break right now, and everything going on there. But it's been a crazy 24 hours with both NBA and NHL free agency. We've seen some big moves. I mean, the Brooklyn Nets now, the Brooklyn Nets, not the New York Knicks, the Brooklyn Nets are the team that everybody's kind of talking about uh, uh, in that neck of the woods, even though it might be a year away, but Durant and Kyrie Irving go there. The big question is why Leonard, where's he going to go? If he doesn't go to the Lakers, I think the league has a lot more balance. If he goes there, they're the overwhelming favorite. A lot of moves in hockey. The Knights have done a few things, but we've been moving our future book board up and down now for about a week with trades and free agency and rumors. It's kind of fun, but uh, there's definitely some value out there with some teams. As much as the GMs from all these teams are figuring their things out, it's, it's funny that we're having to go back and make phone calls and texts and, and emails on what we're doing with each one of these teams. So I'll, I'll interject for yeah. one minute. Last week when the Subban trade comes down, you're on vacation. I was here. I'm like lowering them from 80 to 1 to 70 to 60 to 50. Then you text, cut them in half, make them 40. So we're on, we're on the same page as we're looking at this kind of stuff. But it's our job as well. We're in an information era, and it's not just us that gets that information. Uh, the guests on the other side of the counter are seeing all these trades and moves. I mean, the Rangers are much better. The Islanders are better. The Devils are better. Uh, the Predators, I think, are better now. We're picking up Matthew Shane. So teams have helped themselves. And then you look at Columbus, who wasn't able to retain any of those three guys. Their odds are moving the other way. So we're looking at that with every team in, in both the NBA and NHL as we speak. Yeah, but the point of it all is, again, if, whether you have your STM mobile account or you want to come here to the counter, uh, the NBA futures and NHL futures are open. It's a great time to uh, get down on those things and, and maybe look for some of those long shots uh, that are making moves or uh, bet against the teams that aren't making moves. Hopefully uh, we can make those long shots not long shots as we get this as we get this information. But I think you look at the the Western Conference. We know Portland and Denver were good young teams last year. I think the Jazz with the trades that they've made, picking up uh, Bogdanovich and then the trade for Mike Conley has really helped them a lot. It depends where Leonard goes. If he goes to the Clippers, they are definitely a contender. It really I think complements things out west. I think you look at the Eastern Conference now. Uh, although the the Nets have helped themselves, they're still a year away. Sure. Um, the Bucks have have to retain two of the free agents, but they did lose one big free agent in Brogdon, which I think hurts them a little bit. I know off here we were talking about the Sixers, the fact that they kept Tobias Harris, and now it looks like Horford's going to go there. Although they lose Jimmy Butler, I think maybe they're a better team right now as far as up front with the, uh, with the balance and depth they have. So I think it's a wide open league, but really Toronto's the key right now. What happens with uh, Kawhi Leonard? And he's on vacation in Barbados. He's wearing a Toronto Raptors t-shirt, so maybe that's a sign, but who knows? I think you have to look at the East, um, the West is very complicated, and, and you're guessing that Kawhi Leonard is most likely going to go to a Western Conference team if he if he moves. That'd be the Clippers or potentially even the Lakers. Um, so Eastern Conference is kind of wide open. I think Milwaukee and Philadelphia have kind of st stood out in the moves that they've made. Like you said the Brooklyn's a, a year away. I love the Kemba Walker move to Boston, but I don't know that that's got all the pieces of the puzzle there in Boston. Boston um, needs to do some other things too because they've lost a number of guys in Warford now and. And losing uh, 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 Irving. The other move that I thought was was really interesting, and we're talking about Durant leaving Golden State, but getting D'Angelo Russell. Um, the, the Warriors are still the Warriors, and at the end of the day, are probably going to be getting Clay Thompson in time for the playoffs uh, next year. Uh, so if they can hang around, That's and put themselves prop. in the shooting. Will the spot. Warriors make the playoffs next year? And, and as we talked about off air too, is that the two teams that were in on D'Angelo Russell were the Lakers and the Warriors. He happened to go to the Warriors instead of the Lakers. I think right now with Davis and, and LeBron and Kuzma, but after that, most people can't name anybody in that Laker team. If they don't get Leonard, I know on paper, and I know public's perception, and even from our end, we probably have them the favorite, but are they the best team in the West with just kind of a, a surrounding cast of undrafted free agents and guys that they kind of plugged in if they don't land that third big free agent? So, uh, you know, look at the NBA and NHL guys. I mean, although it's the middle of summer right now, it's not that far away. Uh, as we talked about earlier, baseball season, all-star break. Uh, you look at those two teams that were announced, a lot of young first-timers on the American League. Look at the National League, though. That is just murderer's row. You look at that lineup of National League, even though it's in an American League park, 
I have to think the National League is going to be the favorite. Of uh, they're going to be a prohibitive favorite, I think, in the All-Star game on Tuesday. Uh, next next Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, the Home Run Derby, I think, is going to be a blast. We're starting to see a lot of those game names that are getting announced. Um, I think that uh, you know, it's going to be, again, something to look forward to. And as we move into All-Star break, um, kind of people start thinking a little bit more about football season. Uh, obviously, we're not there yet. Uh, we've got some other really cool things going on. Wimbledon is in its opening day today, uh, so we'll have a lot of tennis on the board, a lot of the in-play tennis. You're going to notice that we're booking almost all the tennis matches that are going on in the in-play. So if you're a, a tennis fan, check out the in-play on the Wimbledon. Uh, Women's World Cup, the U.S. is going to play England on Tuesday. Uh, book's going to be packed. Um, the, the, the women's team has just kind of encapsulated everybody. I love watching these games. and uh, Great uh, crowds in our book whenever yeah. they play. England's going to be a tough matchup. They've only allowed one goal, and actually, in their first game in the, in the group stage. Actually, I think we, you get by England, this is actually a tougher matchup than maybe in the potential finals. Yeah, well, we, we had talked about before that um, the U.S.-France game right. could have been a, a finals right. game. That could have been considered a finals game. And, and does the U.S. Uh, come off that win over France and take a breather uh, and let England sneak by them? I don't know. I think that this team is uh, jacked up, ready to play, ready to prove themselves. But uh, England's not going to be a walkover. This could be a, a difficult game. But if, if the U.S. comes to play, um, they should be able to walk through just about any match. And it'll be great crowds in our racing sports books when that goes on. And, and don't forget, you guys, it's that time of year again, too, for the best of Las Vegas. And you want to vote for the best race in sports book. Uh, you know, we think, uh, look at all of our books and uh, the investment with the, the big screens, the audio video presentation, the great seats, great promotions. It's that time of year again. Best of Las Vegas. Appreciate your vote for best race in sports book for station casinos. And although, again, guys, we're in the summer and it's never away from us, and that's football season as you touched yeah, on. Yeah, we're going to open up a college football season wins here shortly. Um, so those of you that have your, your favorite college football teams or maybe looking for a sleeper college football team that's going to uh, play above their heads or, or you, uh, one of the better teams that you think isn't going to perform as well, maybe lost some key starters, uh, we're going to open up those. So make sure to get down into the book or check on your app. Uh, college football season wins are uh, now going to be open. And, and I'll put a little teaser out there. We're not going to talk about it today, but in the next couple of weeks, we got some big stuff coming up for football season, which I think you guys are going to love. It's going to be received really well by our guests and great promotions. It's always fun. And, and don't forget, as Jay touched on, if you can't get here, and we love when you guys come out, get signed up for STN Mobile, uh, not only the sports side, but the race side as well. Breeders' Cup isn't that far off. You've got some, uh, you got Del Mar starting, you've got the Classic, you've got the Travers, not too far away. Breeders' Cup just right around the corner. So a lot of great racing sportsbook stuff going on. Get signed up for STN Mobile. Get you signed up in just a matter of minutes. Cool. Can I add anything, Jay? No, just be, see you Tuesday. I think that, uh, again, uh, with the holiday, July 4th holiday, hopefully everybody has a safe and, and happy holiday. Uh, but enjoy the baseball games and get out and uh, support the Women's World Cup. Thanks, guys. Uh, good luck this week, and uh, we'll see you soon.